Would be nice to have 16 voices. Would be nice to have more control on top. Would be nice to have a nice action keyboard yeah. with it. I like that. Yeah, that, you like that, that. That tickles me. And it becomes greater than the sum of its parts. In this case, I think you've definitely done that. Hi, welcome to Tome and Synthesizers. I'm Jason, and I've been joined today with Dank Ma from Novation. Hey, Jason. <laughs> long time no see. <laughs> Absolutely. June was a long time ago. It's a really long time Absolutely. ago. Absolutely. But you've come today with this rather wonderful Novation Summit. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give us a little bit of information about that? Yeah, like you, like you know, I think I think you went to Super Booth in 2017 so too, right? I got the stickers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> which the sticker of this is on my iPad case. So, so, so you know about it <laughs> uh, in 2017 in Berlin Super Booth, uh, we launched Peak. Yes, and it, we had a very very warm welcome with yeah, it. Correct. We were absolutely happy about and proud that people. Loved it. Yeah. So, but uh, it's like with the children, you give one hand, they eat your arm. <laughs> so, it's, next it's... thing, uh, what happened was people asked, ah, would be nice to have 16 voices, would be nice to have more control on top, would be nice to have a nice action keyboard yeah. with it. Uh, why don't you make a real synth uh, with keys with it? Yeah. And here we are, here we Fantastic. are with Summit. So, in general, when we talk about it's two times peak. Uh, many people will know about Peak. So Peak is a analog digital hybrid. It's a mix. So when we yeah. look uh, quite fast through us, we have on this one with 16 voices because each voice has three oscillators, 48 digital oscillators, nice. delivering really, really high end analog waveforms, being able to do in, to do wavetables yeah. and FM yeah, synthesis. Nice. After this, I, before yeah. we move on, I'd like to point out the fact that you have the word more <laughs> yeah. as, a, as a selection on that. I like that. Yeah, you like that. That, that tickles me. It really does. Yeah, like, it's really nice because what, what's behind is we got uh, 60 wavetables yeah. that yeah. you can even shape and more are all the wavetables besides Perfect. all the waveforms we deliver from here. So you mentioned earlier that firmware upgradable. Yeah. In the future. So it's, it launched with less than that, though, didn't it? Yeah, we had our was less before was seventeen wavetables we yeah. had in. So it was one point two with a new firmware for Peak that we launched. Uh, we really raised the number up to sixty wavetables that we have that's now a, on top. Big... Now you have micro tuning tables yeah. inside. Uh, we have a, a wonderful, in my opinion, wonderful, I don't want to go too much into detail, <laughs> but a wonderful um, uh, kind of in it when you do your own sound, you can do a live in it. Live mm -hmm. in it means you take all the positions of all the faders and knobs yeah. and you start, uh, you start from a point uh, which is not just absolutely zero. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's good. So you got really good. something, in the best case, really creative as a starting point yeah, for your nice. new sounds. We got on top, we have a X, uh, FX modulation matrix for all of uh, our FX over here. So it's a lot of things happening Huge. with it's the a, new firmware. It's a deep, it's a deep synth. So you, yeah. it's, as you say, it's a hybrid synth, which is, I think is great. People get too hung up on just analog. Mm. Analog's brilliant, but it's got its its weaknesses as well as its strengths. The same with digital. So you put a, a combination of all of these things into one, and it becomes greater than the sum of its parts. In this case, I think you've definitely done that. Yeah. oscillators, 48 oscillators, we have new now our frequency modulation over yes. here. So okay. we can modulate uh, with oscillator 3, uh, we can frequency uh, oscillate um, oscillator 1 and all these things over see three different kind of sources over here. Yeah. So we have our mixer, uh, we can mix all what we have, we have ring modulation on it, we have noise on nice. it. Um, after we have a wonderful filter, yeah. which is basically, yeah, it's basically, <laughs> it's like our base station two filter, which yeah. was designed, we talked before about, yes, by Chris absolutely. Huggett. Yeah, wonderful, a Chris wonderful guy and a really, really gifted guy. And it has a few things 
more than the base station filter. For yeah. example, it has a higher resonance and these kind of things. Yeah. But we will listen later, I think, definitely, about that. Definitely, yeah. After this, we have our, our modulation area here with our amp envelopes to mod envelopes. We have LFO1, LFO2, yeah. and now new on the surface, our global LFO3 and 4. Right. Uh, which you, for example, can use to modulate your effects. Yeah. The yeah. effect section we have over here, and you see, we have uh, in the mixer area, area, we have analog VCA gain. Yes. We have an overdrive here, analog. Okay. And uh, we have a distortion over here, which right. is analog too. I really love about it as you can go from really elegant, evolving, yeah. sound designed uh, mm. uh, kind of uh, things up to really, really hard style techno, yeah. bass lines, cohorts, arpeggios, well, and this, these kind of things. I mean, you mentioned, the ba the, you mentioned the bass station. I mean, Chris Hugger is, you know, is, is Britain's foremost synthesizer yeah. legend. Yeah. You're um, obviously starting with the EDP in the late 70s, the Wasp, which is, you know, quite a, a well Oscar. revered, the Oscar, and then into Novation, the bass station. Mm -hmm. And that, the bloodline is, is, is here. It's all Absolutely. of that sort of knowledge and passion mm. for, for the craft. new about the architecture. Mm, so the architecture, okay. yeah. uh, we have one, when we look over here, we have two different kind uh, of patches we are working with. Right. We have one, our single, single patches over here. So what changed now? Because for sure you have two times P, <laughs> you have two filters, you have 48 oscillators, two times your effects over here. So what we do in a single mode is we have our nice. 16 voices. we are playing with mode one. It will, it, this will be one patch okay. we are working with. So that's your full You can do full polyphony. Uh, yeah, you, you can do your arpeggios, your bass lines, your mm. chords, uh, control everything uh, from our physical controllers over here. Nice. So when we walk over our multi-mode right. that you find over here, we have uh, three different kind of modes right. we are working with. One, we have layer over here. So when we press multi, uh, we take a sound over here, we have a layer. This means we have two different sounds, both stacked. Yeah. So you adjust your volume, your transposition, and all these kind of things here. When we look for the other ones, it's quite uh, uh, self-explaining. Yeah. So layer will be two stacked patches yep. uh, that you use. A split will be usually standard C3, Will be, will be the one where it's split over here. Split. So now our Apecho is playing down. Yeah. And the second sound is up from C, uh, C3 yeah. playing. When we play dual, this is especially for me nice for people who are playing uh, live on stage. Yeah. It's really nice because you can have two sounds. When I want to play one sound, I press A, I will have my first sound on all my keys with, six, uh, with eight voices because each in a multi-mode, uh, each of the synthesizer parts is split in yeah. two times eight voices. So I play my first sound, when I change on B, I will have my second sound yeah. playable here. I press both, I will have again a layer. So this is quite useful to Definitely. change really, really fast. Fast patch changes. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, and for controlling, you see it's quite easy because controlling part A, part B, or both together, yeah. it's quite self-explaining yeah. too. Definitely, definitely. Cool. I prepared a quite simple thing that we not have it to do it from the scratch. It's a, a simple, I call it a simple FM patch over here. It's basically on all three oscillators just a sine wave. Yeah. So when we have our sine wave here, it's a clear it's sound. It's very sound nice, though. Like in church in the old days. So it's when we look, 
Yeah, and when let us pray. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and when you have <laughs> a look now, you see oscillator three can yeah. frequency modulate oscillator one. There you go, and I can do it manually from mod envelope two if I want. So let's just change let's to mod envelope two. On top, what we can do here, we have it three times. I needed that yeah, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you can do quite weird experimental stuff with it. Love it I so like let's that. shape it maybe for a small moment with our amp envelope here. FM piano yeah. or bass lines of it. It's a very well known bamboo bass and these kind of things. Absolutely, it's all yeah. really experimental stuff. Well, you know, going back to the layer mode, you mm -hmm. get yourself that kind of lately bass on the TX81Z. Mm -hmm. Lately bass, punchy as hell bass sound. Absolutely. Layer that with a squelchy, more warmer, kind of like acidy kind of bass. And you got yourself pretty much all of the 90s mm -hmm. dance bass lines yeah, in yeah, one yeah, scene. Yeah, sure. Nice. Another thing is uh, this, it's new on Summit 2, uh, okay. because we have the two FX engines and many, many people asked for that. Uh, we implemented an audio input. Yeah. So you get a stereo audio yeah. in over here. So what we um, uh, simply can do is we can tell we want to go in a, a audio in yeah. and we will take our FX unit uh, and uh, play with the external sound with it. There are two different modes uh, you can use. You can do it before uh, the VCA, then you have to trigger to open the voice course, that it yeah. can play. Or you tell I do it behind the VCA, then you not need to trigger anything. Yeah. Um, and you're working uh, with your FX section over here. So let's just take a small sound over here. Tape style delay. I like it. Syncable. Well, Dankmar, thank you very much for coming in and bringing in your delicious summit. Very rewarding synthesizer it is, with lots and lots of depth, as well as height, because of course it's the summit. So you have to go up. Not what, down. What is over a peak? A what summit. is a peak? <laughs> and I like, can I just point out, the M's, Yeah, it's two peaks, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Not <laughs> wasted on these eyes. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for, for having us here with oh, Summit. It was, it was a really a big pleasure for us. Well, for, for me, having, having Novation in the house, being an owner of one of Chris's, you know, company's first yeah. since is uh, it's kind of yeah like i say the bloodline run through thank you very much remember to like subscribe share and enjoy hit the bell notification and we'll see you on the summit of the next one mm -hmm.